while since I brought you a video, and, um, well, actually because my dog passed away the other day, it's been a really difficult week for me. She was so young, but it's not what we're here to talk about today. No. The weather is quite appropriate considering this is the last day of um, President Trump's term. We don't know what's coming tomorrow. We do know that the Democrats are literally pissing their pants, taking away the bullets from the 30,000 troops called in to guard Biden. Biden, you're the most popular candidate to ever win. Joe Biden, you're the people's man. Come on now, man. Like you always say, Joe. <sighs> You're going to tell me that the most popular candidate in American history needs to take away the bullets from the soldiers that are tasked to protect him? Oh, boy. Yeah, nothing reeks of that. No, there's nothing fishy about that. And then my favorite thing that uh, Beijing Biden and Heels Up Harris is going to do the first day of their administration, we're going to legalize and give citizens a ship to all legal aliens. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We got a caravan coming in from Guatemala, Honduras, you know, tens of thousands of people coming here because they heard that Biden will give them citizenship the moment they step across that border. I bet there's a few, uh, few of you out there who vote for Biden that are starting to realize, oh shit, I fucked up. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. If you legitimately voted for Joe Biden, you're a fucking moron, let me just tell you that. Anyway... So, that's what that's going on. That's just lovely. And you got uh, Hillary Clinton and Nancy Pelosi getting shit-faced, getting drunk on uh, Hillary's uh, podcast, talking about how the uh, situation, the uh, events of January 6th, were all an orchestrated um, attempt by Vladimir Putin, of all people, to take down America. No, it wasn't Trump at all. It was Putin. So it just keeps getting deeper. These guys, these gals, they can spread their conspiracy theories online. They can do whatever they want. But we point out that John Sullivan is an agent of the BLM. We point out that there were Antifa agitators amongst the crowd at the protest on the Capitol. No. Those are conspiracy theories. Those are unfounded. Those are not based in truth. Yeah, the media, big tech, as biased as hypocritical as any eh, it's just disgusting it's absolutely disgusting and it's ridiculous that Americans everyday people can't see this for themselves they're so blinded they just turn on their CNN and they're so tuned in they don't even have a clue and I predicted um, in regards to Corona that guess what boys and girls there's a new variant yeah the L what was it the L452 R <laughs> Who gives a fuck what the number is? It's from California, and I'm gonna link it in the description, but this variant might very well, you know, cause the vaccines not to work. Did I not predict that in my super uh, COVID video two or three months ago? Did I not predict that once they get the virus out, I'm sorry, the vaccine out to cure this virus, there would be new variants to render the vaccine worthless? I mean, the moment they said you had to still keep your mask on and stay, you know, 200 miles away from each other, Oh, you're going to be 20 feet apart. You're going to be 18 feet apart. Oh, watch. That's what's coming. It's getting stupider and stupider. But yeah, you get the vaccine, you got to put your mask on. My buddy, I warned him against getting it. He's over there in Georgia. He got the vaccine. He spent three days in bed sick as a dog. That's what they're not going to tell you on the media. He got uh, COVID back in, I think, October or September. You know, he was in bed for a day or two. He said he felt bad, but <laughs> the reaction to the vaccine was worse. It was fucking worse. Can you believe that? Oh my god. But yeah, that's what's coming. I'm gonna link some articles for you to, you know, do your own reading, but um that's what it said. Hey, this new variant, you know, it could affect the vaccine. So there you go. That's what they're setting you up for. I predicted it two weeks ago. I'm no Nostradamus, but I'm not a jackass. I can see through, you know, things. I can read the writing on the wall. This corona crap's not going nowhere. Um, Biden's new uh, secretary, health secretary, was already saying that there's going to be a half a million deaths. I stopped paying attention to those numbers a long time ago. They're inflated. They're ballooned up. It's just a bunch of bullshit. But, you know, they focus really hard on 250. And then once we pass that, what are we at now? 360, 400,000. Who really cares? But my point is, is now 
she's talking about the big 5-0-0, and watch, they'll use that to justify a three-month lockdown. So all you people that aren't in California, prepare for what we're dealing with. Yeah, prepare for what we're dealing with, because it's coming. If there's anyone that's not in California watching this, it's, it's coming, folks. It's fucking coming. Anyway, I hope you can survive whatever they throw at us, because it's definitely on the way. Um, I don't know what's coming tomorrow. I hope Trump does bring the hammer down, but I doubt it. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Try to survive out there.